Today we're going to be featuring something just a little bit different, a little bit out of the ordinary. We're going to be talking about my dad's absolutely incredible woodworking skills. He's created two more chess boards for our chess customers and they are absolutely incredible and deserve a full episode of In Focus Friday to have a good close look at just how cool they are. Hello everybody, Backyard Bullion here and a very warm welcome to you all joining me for this week's edition of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. But today, whilst I have silver on the table in the form of my solid silver chess set, we're actually going to be giving my dad a turn at In Focus Friday. I am going to be publishing on Sunday the second part of the making of a solid silver chess set. And one thing that we have not got really kind of an overview of is the making of the solid wood chess boards, solid wood chess boards, the wooden chess boards that my dad makes for these sets. And I wanted to showcase them for you all here today, uh, just to really give my dad a shout out for all of the wonderful work that he does and the amount of energy and effort that he goes into uh, making these boards is not to be underestimated. So I'm going to very carefully move this completed set. This is chess set number uh, three, in fact. Number two is uh, the one that we are about to showcase, or the board number two, I should say, is the one we're about to showcase. Uh, very heavy set, by the way. The entire set weighs about three and a half kilos, and the board itself, these are properly good, heavy chess boards. They are about one point seven kilos, 1700 grams worth of solid English oak and mahogany. And uh, dad just does some incredible work for us. And for those that don't know, dad has been uh, tirelessly working on our behalf and with us to create some of the coolest product lines that we offer here on the Backyard Bullion channel, uh, not including the Tetris sets, the puzzle boards that we've done, uh, you know, other things like name frames we've got here, uh, for all of our dogs, we've got Bowie, Pickle and Rhubarb, our three dogs, although bless him, Bowie's no longer with us. But, you know, just the amount of extra uh, steps that Dad goes through to create these little additions for our products is incredible. And it's exemplified by his work on these chess boards. I just am staggered at the level of creativity and ingenuity that my dad has. Now, Dad is not a professional woodworker, you know, Dad's just one of these people that I've always admired for his ability just to tinker, just to tinker and make things. Ever since I was little, I remember things being made all the time. He used to uh, work in sort of design and technology, uh, you know, sort of just tinkering all the time, creating things like Christmas decorations, even silver items. And it was really interesting when uh, when I first got started pouring silver and I told mum and dad about it. Dad was like, oh, I used to do some silver pouring and casting back in the 70s. And uh, he brought out all of this old sort of 90% sheet silver they used to have. It's really, in, really interesting sort of see the kind of full circle history there. But his work on our wooden products, the chess boards in particular, are I think the example of where it goes above and beyond. So a chess board is actually a really difficult thing to make. It's not quite as simple as just getting a slab of wood and colouring different parts of it. Uh, it really is, you know, the 64 of these individual squares that need to be cut. Now, Dad's here used, uh, I think, basically English oak for the white squares, which he's slightly stained. You can see the difference in contrast between the side, which is again English oak, and then he's used uh, mahogany for these individual black squares. Each one of those has to be individually cut and then placed onto the board. Now, one of the major problems that you have with when working with wood is the potential for wood to warp. And that is, you know, it's any woodworker's nightmare for wood to start warping. And Dad has gone through a number of different in sort of um, basically experimental phases of working with the wood in different ways to ensure that it does not warp or crack. Uh, and one of the problems was always going to be about the different squares and how you actually get them to be all as you know, perfect as they can be. So this is actually 64 individual squares connected to an underplate, an underboard of wood uh, that will, of course, keep them all secure and make sure that they don't, uh, you know, sort of start to bend and warp on their own. The frame is just incredibly well made with like, the, I mean, the mitres at the edge are just perfect. Uh, the joins to each of these uh, squares are fantastic as well. So a real 
you know, achievement of worksmanship, of craftsmanship for dad that needs to be shouted out, hence me doing a full focus video on his work here today. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, and just to share a little bit more about um, the set, well, the sort of the board itself, uh, this particular board I think had had actually an issue which um, was I must be really annoying for that. I know from my perspective, whenever I'm creating something, if I'm pouring a piece of silver and I've you know, misstamped something, it's always just so annoying. And I think it was this board that dad was telling me, I can't remember which, which square it was, it was one of the white ones on the edges. But basically, one of the squares cracked in place, which was of course like, ah, uh, you know, you, you, you just get that oh no moment. But dad managed to salvage this board by um, somehow using a router to get that square back out, put a replacement one in, and for love nor money, I cannot tell which square that is. So, you know, kudos to dad for all of his hard work on, uh, you know, these chess balls because they are absolutely incredible. And also on all of the other products that we make that are in conjunction with dad as well. Uh, you know, we are really, really grateful for all of this, uh, you know, additional work and value that's added. And it's really very cool to be able to sort of work with my dad on those kind of things. So uh, guys, give a big, big shout out to my dad, Backyard Bully and Senior, down in that comment section. I know he watches our videos. I know he watches these type of videos when I do things that feature his work. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just really, really fun to actually see it all come together. And if we get the, the full chess set back, over in fact let's just move the pieces onto here that would be a lot simpler wouldn't it so uh, you know to have all of the chess pieces coming out uh, onto this board and completing it makes it just that little bit more special and one of the things that we uh, wanted to make sure of when we did create these chess sets was that the chess pieces were kind of proportioned well to the piece squares uh, or to the squares on the board uh, and apparently there's quite a sort of significant amount of research that has been gone into ensuring that a uh, chessboard and square size relative to piece size actually matches up and doesn't make the board look too sparse or too crowded. And these are the perfect size. And I think with the tones on the wood as well, they really complement the sort of, obviously the silvery whiteness of the white pieces and then the uh, kind of dark bluey grey of the black pieces so all things told this has been a real special thing to do and to have and to be created and of course now we have um, three sets three sets done this this is set number so well the pieces are set number three's pieces but this is board number two this is board number three it's slightly lighter in tone as you can see from uh, board one if we can get them there you go, you can see a slightly lighter in tone on the black pieces, almost like a rosy wood there. Really, really nice still. I'm going to put that down before I drop it and break it. That would not be good. So there we have the solid silver chess set on the English oak and mahogany boards made by our dad. So if you want to see the making of the actual pieces, we've got a video going live on Sunday, which shows the second part of the process. We've already shared part one where we poured the silver parts but we've now got the second part going live on Sunday with all of the additional extra work that we do and go through uh, to create the uh, to create the pieces or to give the pieces their ultimate finish so if you want to go and check that out make sure you hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this little video and this showcasing of dad's incredible work then make sure you hit that like button and tell YouTube that you've enjoyed this video and especially give dad a big thumbs up comment down in the comment section because I know he'll get a chuckle from reading all of them. Otherwise, that is it from me this week. I hope you all have a very happy, healthy, safe week ahead. As always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more. Mm -hmm.